Hello chess lovers, Sonnen here and in today's video I want to share with you a very interesting attacking game played by 12 year old Gary Kasparov. His opponent is 13 year old Boris Kanzler and the game was played in 1975 in Leningrad. Actually this is the last tournament where Gary was participating carrying his father's second name. During the summer holidays Gary's mother would change his second name from Weinstein to Kasparov, thus he would start carrying his mother's second name. With this being said, we can go through the game. Kasparov opened up with e4, to which Kanzler answered with e6. Black goes for French defense, against which White is applying King's Indian attack. Let me tell you that half a year later, Kasparov's trainer Nikitin would include this opening in a blacklist, forcing Gary to go for a more dynamic d4 move when facing French defense. g6, knight gf3, so white's setup is standard. Uh, it doesn't matter how will black play, you know, you just have to know where to put your pieces and blindly like pre move. Rook e1, black castled king side, queen e2, b5, and e5, white is getting a powerful wedge in the center of the board. Knight f1, meanwhile, white proceeds with his standard idea. h4, knight h2, knight g4 is coming. b4, in return, black is starting a counter attack on the queen side, but time shows that usually black is late. h6, taking under control this essential g5 square, and this is a very strong move actually. Then we have king h7, bishop h3, c4. Uh, in here there is a very strong defense with rook h8, and then you can play king g8. This type of an idea is very effective when fighting against king's Indian attack, but quite possibly still, this idea was unknown to Kanzler and he proceeds with his counterattack. King g2, knight f5, and bishop takes f5, removing a key defender, and strangely in here, black recaptured with a g-pawn. Better is e takes f5. If d4, then c3. If here, then c takes b2, rook b1. Uh, black has a very nice position, but in the game we have g takes f5, and the problem with this move is that this is weakening the king side too much. There it goes, g4 is on the board. f takes g4. Well, another mistake, better is knight e7, or c takes d3 and then d4. In our game we have f takes g4, which gives white an unstoppable attack, knight e7, and now a question arises, how should white proceed? Please pause the video and try to find Kasparov's next moves. Ready? Here we go. In here Kasparov found a spectacular bishop g5 move. The knight is pinned, it can no longer jump on f5. And now, for example, knight f6 check can be a threat, followed by knight d4, and then the queen can jump into the attack. Black accepted the p sacrifice, h takes g5, now white also managed to open up the h file, so now it becomes obvious what was the point of playing king g2 on move 16. Rook h8, black is hurrying to consolidate his position, but there follows knight f6 check, king g6, in case of bishop takes f6, here is how white can win, white has this vision took, check, and then g takes f6. If knight g6, then after the exchange of rooks on h8, the second rook is coming, and then queen e3. Queen h6 is the threat, and if queen f8, then knight g5 and white is winning. Then white will play queen g3, queen h2, and the attack is unstoppable. In our game, after knight f6 check, we have king g6 and rook h1. The exchange of rooks will allow white to weaken opponent's position further. Bishop takes h8, and another very strong move by Kasparov. Can you find his next move? Here we go, this time Kasparov sacrificed his knight. He's opening up the queen's diagonal. 
Black accepted that sacrifice as well. Well, if bishop takes f6, then g takes f6. Yeah, this queen g4 can be now a threat, and if knight h6, then rook h1. In our game, we have knight takes d4, and queen h5 check. This is a king hunt, guys, and this king has no chance of surviving. Where are you going, black king? Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, black king? Rook e1, protecting the pawn, and now the threat is queen g4 checkmate. Bishop takes f6, f3, renewing the mating threat. Knight takes f3, queen takes f3 check, king g5, queen g3 check, king h5. Uh, better is king h6, in this case black can put a tough resistance. Let's take a quick look at this continuation. Black is giving up the queen, but then is managing to survive for some time. Yeah, definitely this is a better line than the one which we see in our game. The pieces are awkwardly placed and black can't put resistance. Uh, actually, after instead of queen g3 check, better is rook h1, but this move is also winning. King h5 was met with, it takes f6, and finally we have a resignation. A checkmate is coming, here. Yeah, there is no way out, that's why Boris Kanzler capitulated. A very, very impressive attacking game by Kasparov, another King's Indian attack, another instructive game, which I hope that you enjoyed greatly. In the end, the chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.